Brooklyn Kitchen. Today we're going to be teaching you how to make sweet tea. Now we're not making iced tea and then adding sugar, we're making sweet tea. It's a little bit different of a process and tastes way better. Now what you're going to need is a gallon pitcher, a measuring cup, sugar, a tea kettle, your tea bags, and a spoon with which to stir. And of course, a jar and or glass with which to enjoy the tea afterwards. Let's get started. Now, the first step is to make a simple syrup. Simple syrup is just mixing sugar into hot water. The reason you need to use hot water is because sugar won't really dissolve all the way into cold water. That's why just adding sugar to iced tea doesn't really make sweet tea. So, take your pitcher, your sugar, your measuring cup, take about one cup. Two cups, and I usually like to do an extra little bit, about a quarter of a cup, to a good measure. Then you take your hot water, it doesn't necessarily need to be boiling, it just needs to be hot enough, hotter than uh, the water that comes out of the faucet. Just pour that on over the sugar. It doesn't need to be a lot of water. Alright. Then take your stirring spoon and mix the sugar up into the water. Once you can see that the sugar is completely dissolved into the water, you can move this on over to the side and go on to the next step. The next step is to boil some water. So you take a tea kettle, get some water in it, and then stick it on the stove and wait for it to be done boiling. Once the water is boiling, go ahead and take it off, and we're going to pour it into the pitcher. Alright, once you got all the water in there, time to put in the tea bags. There are some brands that make tea bags that are big enough to make a whole pitcher of tea instead of just a single glass. So I usually take about two of those. Uh, if you were to use more than two, it would probably take less time to steep the tea uh, to get the right flavor, but I don't mind waiting, so I just use two bags. Put them in there and stir it up. You'll see the water start to change color. All right. Stir it up and then go ahead and put the cap of the pitcher back on and let it wait for a little while. I usually steep my tea for around three to four hours. It's all depending on what your taste is, but I guarantee you, if you follow mine, it will taste fantastic. Once the tea is done steeping, pour yourself a glass and enjoy. You can always add lemon wedges or mint leaves to uh, spruce up the flavor a little bit, but this tastes just as good by itself. Please remember to like and subscribe, and go ahead and tell us what you think about this video in the comments section down below.